Hi guys, welcome back to Kit Car Direct and MK Sports Cars. It's the weekend, it's miserable. Not like last weekend where we managed to get some run out in the uh, turbo car, had a great time. Today it's miserable, we're not going to be test driving. But Phil's car's here. And we did manage to test drive this in the week. A um, couple of bits of jobs it's in. It's the turbo booster, as you know. A um, couple of little coolant links we were sorting out. It's got some wheel bearings on the front to sort out. Um, some geo at the front end to do. Um, a quick release boss and that we've got to finish off and an MOT. But I've got to say, <laughs> I know we said when we was building this, it's going to be a monster. Well, you think you drive fast cars and then you drive that. <laughs> it's mental, mental. <laughs> I don't even need, believe I'd explored 10% of its capability. Now I've been to, I've built turbo cars in the past um, and I probably use quarter full and it's probably as quick as an R1 at quarter full. That's how crazy it is. Um, so I'm not exploring it and you, you, you pass legal speed limits before you know it. What a beast. If you want to have fun, right, and you've got fairly deep pockets, I'm going to say, not mental, but fairly deep pockets, build one of them. It's nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. So he'll love that. I can't wait for the summer day so he can uh, have a blast. I'm sure Phil will eventually put some videos up with this thing going, but it's crazy. Love it, love it. So if you want to go really mental fast, stick a turbo on one. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Let's move on, guys. Let's crack on. So kit production, full steam ahead. We are fully on it at the moment, uh, trying to get as much done as quickly as possible. We've got one here. You can see we crate it up. So as you know, we ship all over, it's not a problem. This one's going out to Sweden. It's crated up, ready to go, just the side panels to box up. But she's fully done, chassis, all the body components. In fact, in this one's got, in here, all the donor components. That's the engine, gearbox, the whole whole shebang is going off uh, to the customer and he'll be bolting that together uh, in Sweden. So left, uh, left hand drive car as well. So it'd be great to see some uh, details of that pop up on our Facebook pages when that, uh, when that gets delivered out there and the build starts and continues. Um, they're bare chassis, these. They get tested in Sweden. They are a heavier chassis than normal. We use a two mil wall um, steel on those as well. So it is heavier as a, as a car overall, but that's what the requirements are out there. So there's one, it's crated up. That's what we do. These wooden crates, you can ship them all over the world. So uh, there's one. And down here, I've got two more. Oh, I'm nine, there's three. Someone's bred one overnight. Um, <laughs> Right, so we've got another RX-5 here, another RX-5 here, and a classic here that's got to be collected. Uh, we're getting these kits together for the customers, just waiting for a few more components. I think that one's going out this week. That one will be about a week's time for the, all the other parts to come in, bodywork and bits to come. But they're breeding, like, seem to be like rabbits overnight, because I don't know where that, that myself has delivered that yesterday. So that's nuts. So we're carrying on with them, guys. We're still on the sort of 12-week lead time at the moment with chassis, so if you're looking to get alls in, Pop us an email, phone call, Facebook message, whatever your pleasure is, and we'll sort you out. So, Dax, probably ain't seen this for a few weeks. It's because we've been on other projects, but we're back on with this as well. Um, some wiring issues, but now it's, we're just putting some stamps on for the IVA. So, meshing the grills under here has been done. We're doing all the lights and the switches because they weren't compliant as well as some bits and bobs we're just sorting out. So, buttoning this up really as best as we can for the customer. Um, with some wiring issues down in here. We've had to cut in all these switches that he wanted in. These have been cutting this week for the side lights and fog lights, etc. They've been done. It's things like trimming all the seats. They've got to be done, guys. You know, if you, depending on which seats you are, these are actually original DAC seats, but all the rubber in, you've got to go around the seats. Steering wheel's got to be changed, that head. So that's been done. Um, then we've got to get on with a few niggly bits and bobs. Centre mirror's got to be fitted and stuff like that. So we're cracking on with that and then missions, you know, little bits and bobs. So that all sort of, it doesn't look like much changes, but it's all these little bits that you have to do for IVA, you know, tick their boxes, so to speak. So we're cracking on with that as well. Um, killer color, I think like I said before, it was Lamborghini green. It's not green, I think. <laughs> Let's move over to kits and what we're building. Right, Richard's car, RX-5. It's had a color change. <laughs> It's no longer just black, it's yellow. <clears throat> so that's what we've been on with this week as well. Cutting in uh, the side panels have been done. Uh, we're doing a full length. Let me do two options on this. A lot of the race cars, we actually stop it short uh, here. We cut it off. Uh, we try a little bit more uh, air in there and a bit more cooling 
for the for the sort of track orientated car you've probably seen that on a couple of cars that went when it went dubai and france etc we stop it there and then with the road cars which is this is generally kind of going to be it's not really going to be a track car um, we enclose this so it stops the most of the road grime and things like that getting in there that helps keeps all that area clean as well so but yeah we cut all the holes they're all in the manual these holes dimensions guys so um you know from the drop distance downs and the hole size that you drill out on your on your panel and it all has a reference so it's all in the manual can't remember what page number it is but it's in there on both sides so if you're looking for that cleaner look you can do it that way or you can cut it short um depends on your preference really so we've cracked on with that the rear tub has been dry fitted as well um and we've got to do the final fitment on on this uh, but this rear tub has also been completely dry fitted as well so that will slot on um, in the same position and over here so that's all been pre-dry fitted and we'll get that fitted on uh, this week start bonding and bits and bobs on that as well so yeah yellow got a lovely yellow car we've got a demo car in yellow as well but I love the yellow and black fit it looks really strong um, as well so it's mainly been panel fitments and a few other niggly little jobs like putting the alternator belts on and little niggly jobs inside the engine bay that we've been doing on this one this week so it's Richard's car nice color change um, I think it's yellow rear arches that's going on this but you'll see as it progresses right let's move on right R1 RX5 MC let's pull this bad boy off we cover most of the cars up guys every night keeps them you know nice and clean as well um so we've been on with this uh there will be a template here you can see this so the first thing you see is exhaust manifold is on uh, it's our standard system that we do i'll talk through some exhaust in a minute and there's, this is a template that's going to be drawn up and that will be in the manual for everybody now uh which, which will get drawn up as a diagram you're going to drill basically four holes of a specific size like 86 mils and 56 mils join the dot to dots nice and easy and that'll be in the manual once we give you that from a reference point so we'll cut that panel in as per there we've done a mock-up on a card template here um, just to show you so you can keep it neat and tidy and everybody will be the same then for when you're doing the r1 engine so we've been on with that we're fitting the, that custom air box uh, on there as well um, we're done with wiring um, we reached out to, we've partnered with uh, OVP as well. Um, these are going to be the coolant tanks. I've got quite a few of these on the shelves, guys. It is a nice bit of kit. I mean, I can't knock them. The welding, look. I don't think you can zoom on that. Pretty good. Very good. I mean, it's a nice bit of kit for the money. Um, we've got about a dozen of them, I think, on the shelf now. Uh, and that'll be, if you're not going to do the plastic thing, you want the alley ones, that'll be um, with the caps. That's a 20 PSI cap we use as well on that so they'll be in a bolt in this position here uh, for position of choice so they'll be available um, so we've been on with that uh, some of the plumbing oil cooler has gone in and the bracket kits you showed you last week having mounted and we've painted that black in the end as well to match it in but that's a 19 roll cooler all mounted up with our kits that we do um, and a few other little bit bits and bobs that we've been doing just wiring and fixings and things like that on the, on the rear end as well so um we're actually decided we had a cage on this um we're gonna put a roll bar on <laughs> um so this cage will come off we've decided because as you know we do do all the fixings in here for the roll bar so we can swap an interchanger but we are going to go over a roll bar on this one we're going to keep the weight very light hopefully on this car and we'll come up with a number i'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty light so that's what we'll be doing on the R1MC, and then we'll move over to another one that's coming. Okay, remember a few weeks back we said about exhaust systems being done. Well, being done. So this is our Mazda RX-5 chassis, standard square two chassis, but left-hand drive car. We started the process a few weeks back on this, and what we had to do was deliver a left-hand drive exhaust system. Um, so obviously the Mazda stock system, you can't use it would interfere with the steering column and also the pedal box down here so this is the pedal box here so normally a stock system would sit and right be there it would turn out from there on the stock system and it actually exits here so it's a four into one system there's arguments for four into two into one and four into one which is better um, these generate a little bit more power normally and you get a bit more torque with four into two into one but this is going to be a standard engine anyway so um, stock system full stainless steel four into one into the silencer now 
it's not just for a left-hand drive. If you want to go a full stainless steel system, you're not doing turbo at a later date or anything like that, this will fit as well. So you don't have to use a standard manifold if you don't want to. And these are going to be available, uh, well, immediately now. All the jigs are now done. So they're available if you want a nice brand new system rather than using your donor manifold. But we do do the donor manifold system. So I've got that over there and I'll show you that in a minute. But what we've been on this week, uh, front brake. So it's got stock Mazdas on this rather than the Wheelwoods that you saw on that, stock Mazdas. Um, front end's finished up pretty much as well, so it will calipers on front and rear. Um, left hand drive bulkhead panels, guys, as well. Now, as well, obviously, swap it over. They're available as well. And uh, we've been on with the rear end, so fuel tanks in, strapped in nicely. Um, rear discs are pretty much on now, and brake calipers are basically last buttoning up to do on that. Uh, handbrake cables are in. <clears throat> fuel filter, fuel lines, Dave bracing and that. And then the fuel pump, well, this is a stock tank, uh, stock pump, and then we do the uh, alignment on the bracket there. Um, I won't pull that out, it's no point, it's in there. Um, that's a modification, that's in the game, that's in the manual, it tells you how to modify the stock pump, um, and then you can join that up. So that's all in, this corner's all buttoned up as well, handbrake levers in, um, and cable, centre cable, prop shaft. So that's all been done on this week and we'll continue on this build as well. Um, but yeah, we sort of wrinkle finished all the engine. Probably remember it from last week, or oh, a couple of weeks ago. Wrinkle finished all the engine, bit more detailed in there as well. So that'll crack on. This one's going yellow, I think, as well. I think it is. It is. It is <laughs> Popular colour of choice. Uh, they, that one's going orange, though. Definitely going orange. Uh, so yellow again on this one, so you'll see this progress as well. So I had somebody call me this week and they said, um, my yellow car is a very unique one. I've not seen any others. <laughs> well, there's three in the workshop. <laughs> but yeah, and Chris has got one, another Chris has got one. So yeah, seems to be a, a, a hot colour at the moment. And they do look good in your room. Yeah, they really do. They stand out really well. Well, let's talk about exhaust systems. We spoke about the, the Mazda one. So if you're running the stock manifold, then we do the link pipes. This joins up, I'll worry around. So that would sit there. This is exactly where it would sit in there. That's why we can't use that um, with the floor mounted pedal boxes on the left hand drive. But that's a, a system that joins your stock Shut. manifold. I can't get it in there, unfortunately, chap. Um, that would sit in there, right where that would be there. So, but yeah, that's uh, available and that's a stock manifold off the MX-5 link pipe system that we do. Then, later on, you can go turbo. We love the turbos. So that would be a modified system that would run off the turbo. This would again, would sit in this section here and come off the back of the turbo. So that's for the Mazda. So if you're going turbo at a later date, you run your standard manifold with the link pipe and then you can always swap it over. Right, so just so you can get clear on the systems, um, this is this ma stock manifold MX-5 here with the link pipe already attached. Should have showed you that from over there earlier. So this is the system stock. As I say, we can't put that in because of the uh, master cylinders, but that's, um, that's the first sort of way of intro into it. Or now we do the custom stainless steel four into one system that's basically bolt on and ready available. The only thing we do do is change the studs. Uh, to bolts on that system instead of that. That's the only thing that's different. But if you're going in A, you're staying in A, you can bolt that on. If you look at this system and you want to go turbo down the late route later on, then uh, that's the way to go. Now, plenty of systems that we do out there. We've got here, we've got an S2000. Nice system, four into two into one. Um, for your S2000, Honda S2000, cracking engine, got one myself, and then that comes with uh, the cat link pipe as well, and then you can run that into whatever silence you want, that would sit in this side of the vehicle. Carbon one. Yeah, carbon one, you know, really nice, if you don't want to run a stainless, it's a carbon one's a pretty killer uh, bit of kit, and they weigh half the weight, I think they're four kilos. Then we've got stuff like this. Any hazard a guess before I even call it out? It goes on this side, guys, so what do you reckon? Pinto. <laughs> uh, that's a Pinto system. We ain't done one of them in a very long time. Um, but that's a Pinto system. Um, it's still available. Still cars out there running Pintos. 
Yeah, no problem at all. And then we do, I haven't got one here, but Hayabusa, of course. The R1, which is a system that's here. There's another one here in parts, sections. That's your R1 system as well with the Lambda sensor in there as well. Um, Hayabusa systems as well. So there's plenty of choices for your engine and options. So if you want to go turbo later date on a Mazda, you can keep your standard manifold and then run that link pipe down as well. So that's, um, that's exhausts. And if you've got any questions on that, you know where we are, give us a shout. Oh, CBR 1000 RRs we do as well. Um, so if, you, if there's one that I haven't shouted out, we may have the jig still, but we have streamlined down on that now to try and keep um, the, the real core ones, Hayabusa, R1, CBR, S2000, Duratec, uh, Pintos, Z-Tech we do as well. We have got a couple of early fire blades, but to be honest with you, no one's going to stick an early fire blade in now. You're going to go with the latest CBRs on the fault. So, yeah, that's right. We have an exhaust system. We've got one little nice little product, one little gift for you. Fuel caps. So we do a silver one, a standard, and now we've got a new system that's come in. Um, some people call them aero caps. Aero cap I associate with the flip up lid, and this one is more of a fuel filler cap. So it is IVA compatible in black, available on the shelf. And that is IVA because it, it's got the locking mechanism in here. And because you have to turn the key afterwards, you don't need a tether kit on that. So um, nice clean product, I think you can see. Nice and small, 51 mil. So we, basically that will fit the back here on your panel. And join up with a filler hose from here onto it on your back panel. Some people have mounted them up the top, some people have mounted them around the side. Um, our standard position is here, pretty much, um, and that joins into the fuel tank there. So they're available, uh, what were they, 89? 89. 89 quid delivered uh, to your doorstep. Put it on your Christmas list. <laughs> Get the wife to do it. Dax, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention, um, for you owners out there uh, of Daxes, um, unfortunately is very little parts available. We do do the front wings, they're available. And the top and bottom jaw joints, we, I think we've mentioned it before, but top and bottom ball joints here, so you've got top joint here, bottom ball joint there. We do have those and they, well, the wings we make to order, but the other parts we have at the bottom and top ball joints, I've got about 50 of each, I think, in stock of those. So they are available. Our standard seats, like the DAC seats that are in here, for example, um, they, they're actually a bonding seat that they used to do. Our seats do fit it. So our lightweight race seats that we do, that we fit in our standard cars, they also fit in your vehicle if you've got a DAX rush. Um, so yeah, a couple of bits of components, you know, fuel caps and things that we do. They're components of your, still, if you're on your part built DAX and you're trying to f struggle for finding parts, give us a heads up, uh, phone call or something. We'll try and sort you out. Oh, bonnet scoops. That's another one. Bonnet scoops. We do them for the DAX as well. So. A few little bits and bobs, but you know where we are at the end of the phone. So we're always trying to come up with different products or with different suppliers or making new stuff, exhaust systems or whatever. Let's say if there's a product out there we can tap into and try and work with you guys to deliver for your car and make your projects even better, then we will. That's what we're here for. So, excellent. Um, right, that's it for this week. I don't know where it's gone. It's flying by. Absolutely flying by. So, I suppose it's the like, share, subscribe. And we'll catch you next week. See you then, guys.